Advent Readings and Spoken Hymns. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The text of the readings is from the King James Version of the Bible. The text for the hymns can be found in the Sunday School Book for the use of Evangelical Lutheran Congregations. Readings and Spoken Hymns for the Third Sunday of Advent Readings and Hymns recorded by Marianne Anne Fletcher M. Lee Heidi Johnson We gather, we gather, dear Jesus, to bring the breathings of love mid the blossoms of spring. Our Maker, Redeemer, we gratefully raise our hearts and our voices in hymning thy praise. When stooping to earth from the brightness of heaven, thy blood for our ransom so freely was given. Thou deignest to listen while children adored, with joyful hosannas, the blessed of the Lord. Those arms which embraced little children of old still love to encircle the lambs of the fold. That grace which inviteth the wandering home hath never forbidden the youngest to come. Hosanna. Hosanna! Great teacher, we raise our hearts and our voices in hymning thy praise. For precept and promise so graciously given, for blessings of earth and for glories of heaven. From the letter to the Romans, chapter 15, verses 4 to 13. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the Scriptures, might have hope. Now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another, according to Christ Jesus, that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wherefore, receive ye one another, as Christ also received us to the glory of God. Now I say that Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of God, to confirm the promises made unto the fathers, and that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, For this cause I will confess to thee among the Gentiles, and sing unto thy name. And again he saith, Rejoice, ye Gentiles, with his people. And again, Praise the Lord, all ye Gentiles, and laud him, all ye people. And again Isaiah saith, There shall be a root of Jesse, and he that shall rise to reign over the Gentiles, in him shall the Gentiles trust. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Luke chapter 21 verses 25 through 36 And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the earth distress of nations, in perplexity for the roaring of the sea and the billows, men fainting for fear and for expectation of the things which are coming on the world. For the powers of the heavens shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these things begin to come to pass, look up and lift up your heads, because your redemption draweth nigh. And he spake to them a parable, Behold the fig tree, and all the trees. When they now shoot forth, ye see it, and know of your own selves that the summer is now nigh. Even so ye also, when ye see these things coming to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh. Verily I say unto you, This generation shall not pass away till all things be accomplished. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But take heed to yourselves, lest haply your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting, and drunkenness, and cares of this life, and that day come on you suddenly as a snare, for so shall it come upon all them that dwell on the face of all the earth. But watch ye at every season, making supplication that ye may prevail to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. Jordanus Oris Previa 
On Jordan's banks the herald's cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Come then and hearken, for he brings glad tidings from the King of Kings. Then cleansed be every breast from sin, make straight the way for God within, and let us all our hearts prepare for Christ to come and enter there. For thou art our salvation, Lord, our refuge and our great reward. Without thy grace our life must fade and wither like a flower decayed. Stretch forth thy hand to health restore and make us rise to fall no more. Once more upon thy people shine and fill the world with love divine. To him who left the throne of heaven to save mankind, all praise be given. Like praise be to the Father done and Holy Spirit, three in one. End of readings and spoken hymns for the third Sunday of Advent.